Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we will learn about decimals. First, we will learn how to say decimals correctly, and then we will learn how to write them as fractions. But before we get started, we gotta get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, are you ready to go? Yeah. We're doing your favorite subject, decimals. All right, Charlie, quit fooling around. Let's get started right there. Okay, Charlie, you remember the first day of class? We talked about place value with whole numbers. Now, remember the decimal told us where the ones place is. And now we are going to talk about all the digits to the right of the decimal. Now don't get scared. Think of the ones place as the center of the number. Now watch what happens. You remember our pattern, Charlie? It went ones, tens, hundreds. Well now let's go to the right of the ones place where the ones is the center. Now watch the pattern. It now goes ones, tenths, hundredths. Now let's go to the thousands period. We have one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Now let's go to the right. One thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Let's go to the millions period. One millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Go back to the right. One millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Let's go to the billions period. One billions, ten billions, hundred billions. Now let's go back to the right. One billions, ten billions, hundred billions. Now there's the pattern. Notice how the pattern goes this way, but it also goes the other way too in our decimal place values. Okay, let's read some decimals correctly. Here we have 0.07. That's how most people say it, but let's say it correctly. First, let's define the place value of the rightmost digit, which is that seven. So we have ones, tenths, hundredths. Therefore, we have seven hundredths. That's how you say the decimal correctly. Now that we know how to say it, we can write it as a fraction correctly. It's seven hundredths, and that's it. Let's do another one. Here we have ones, tens, hundredths. Notice the eight is the rightmost digit, and it's in the hundredths place. So how do we say this number correctly? Notice we have eighteen hundredths. How do we write it as a fraction? 18 hundredths. There you go. Here's this one. 0 0.000008. Let's look at the place value. Ones, tenths, hundredths, one thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, one millionths. The rightmost digit, that eight, is in the one millionths place. So how do we say this number correctly, Charlie? Here we go. Eight one millionths. Now, to write it as a fraction, it's just 8 over 1 million, which is said 8 one millionths. There you go. Here's this one, 0 0.00201. Looking at the place value, we have ones, tenths, hundredths, one thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. Our rightmost digit is in the hundred thousandths place. Remember, that's going to determine our denominator of our fraction. But this time we have 201 hundred thousandths. So to write it as a fraction, 201 over 100,000. And that's it. Now here we have a mixed number. Remember, a mixed number is a whole number part and a fractional part. Remember, decimals are just fractions that have denominators of powers of 10. So here, let's find the place value of the rightmost digit. We have ones, tenths, hundredths, one thousandths. The three is in the one thousandths place value. Now notice here, our whole number part is four, and now we use the word and. Remember, and connects the whole number part to the fractional part. So it's the same with decimals. It connects the whole number part with the decimal part. So this number is read as four and 23 one thousandths. To write it in its mixed number notation, it's four, there's the whole number part, and now we have 23 over one thousandths. So that's four and 23 one thousandths. Okay, let's bring it home. Here we have another mixed number. We have a ones, tenths, hundredths, one thousandths, ten thousandths. The zero is in the ten thousandths place. So notice here, three and 250 ten thousandths. How do we write it in this mixed number notation? It's three and 250 over ten thousand, which is read three and 200 50 ten thousandths. There you go. And that's it for today. We'll see you again soon.